thank you so much for being on the show with us. Hello. This is an honor. Thank you so much. I'm happy to be here. Yes, and today, who are you representing? I'm representing the Rotary Club of Douglas County. Awesome. Mm -hmm. And we're going to get into what Rotary does okay. here in the county and uh -huh. internationally. Yes, sir. Uh, but right now, what we want to do is figure out what we're cooking. <gasps> Because that's what this is all about, yes, right? Sir. It's yes, all sir. about the food. That's right. Um, so <laughs> you have no idea what we're doing, right? I do not. She has no idea. So we have the ingredients cloaked Ooh. under our uh, beach towel of deception. Okay. That's what we call it. <laughs> and I'm going to reveal it to you right now, and then uh -huh. you can kind of try to figure out what okay. we're cooking today. All right, let's see. You ready for this? I'm ready. All let's right, see here this we go. reveal. Not too many ingredients. This is throwing me off. I was I was gonna say like tacos or burritos, but you got the burritos. Peanut butter Reese's peanut butter cups. There's there are two recipes. Oh, so you got the first one, the burrito. So very oh, good, okay. very good. Okay, and then um, hmm. Peanut so butter. then you kind of have to figure out what the other ingredients <laughs> are for. Well. It's some type of dessert. It is. Okay. It is. And that's pretty good. She got like one and a half, I'll give her. <laughs> one and, one and a half. half. About two. All right, so what we try to do is play off the name of the organization that's on. So okay. today we have Rotary Fried Bean and Cheese Burritos. Stop laying. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And Rotary's Peanut oh. Butter Cup Pie. I've never had a peanut butter cup pie. Pie. It is amazing. I've really? had it once before okay. and it is amazing. All right now. So we're going to get reset. We're going to get ready for our first recipe. We've got to do the pie first so we uh -huh. can get it in the freezer and get it chilling. Okay. And we're also going to talk about rotary. So we'll be right back. Sounds good. <laughs> this is a very easy recipe. Okay. And there's no actual cooking we're just putting the ingredients together okay, right okay and then we can put it either in the refrigerator for about four hours mm -hmm. or we can throw it in the freezer and get it cold pretty quick so okay. that's what we're gonna do because mm -hmm. um, we'll be doing the burritos next and by yeah. the time the burritos are done the pie is gonna be ready to okay <laughs> all right so the first thing we have to do and I'll start this mm -hmm. uh, and then you can kind of get some of your ingredients ready after okay. I get this in here we're gonna start with eight ounces of cream cheese okay and I have uh, the lovely KitchenAid mixer over here. <laughs> so makes it a little easier. Mm -hmm. Now the, the cream cheese is softened, uh -huh. so it makes it easier to work with. So you leave it out or something? Yeah, just leave okay. it out for about an hour or so. Mm -hmm. and so it, don't do the cream cheese in the tub? No, this, this stuff is a little thicker and richer. Some of that stuff is uh, actually um, whipped to oh, get it is. air You're right. in, yeah, so it's not, right, it's not as thick and, and, uh, and good, okay. so it's good. So <laughs> I'm gonna get this going uh -huh. a little slow here, get it whipped up a little bit. This softens it, and it does introduce a little bit of air into it as okay. well, so it's easier to incorporate the other ingredients. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty good for that. Okay. And the next step is we're gonna put uh, a quarter cup of the sugar in here. Okay. So I'll let you handle that. This is already the on quarter, the quarter. The quarter cup's here. No, maybe it's a third a cup. A quarter cup, you got it. Okay. She's on top of it. Let me see, okay, I wanna make sure. I don't want it to be too sweet or You're much not better sweet reader enough. Than me. It's just, just right. Okay, here we go. Just lightly dump dip that in there. Perfect. Okay. And then we're going to add a third of a cup uh -huh. of the peanut butter. So we got the spoon to put it in here. Okay. And then we got a spatula to get it out of there. Oh man, that's a lot of peanut butter. Peanut butter is good for you. Oh yeah. We go through it like crazy here at the house. And make it smooth like you're making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Yes. Boop -a doop. All righty. All right, since this will be a little difficult to get out of there. I'll use a spatula. Yeah, we can uh, spatularize it. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. 
So our peanut butter flavor is obviously coming from the peanut butter, and mm -hmm. then we're also going to be putting Reese's peanut butter cups in here. Lots so of peanut butter. That is going to be amazing. I know it. Okay, I think I have it all in there. Awesome. Boop -a doop doop. Looks like you've done this before. Kind of, sorta. <laughs> <laughs> Get that mixed in. And then the last thing we're, we're actually going to mix into this uh -huh. with the with the with the stand mixer is a teaspoon of vanilla extract. So okay. I've got that standing by and ready. Mm -hmm. It already smells like peanut butter. I know it sure does. Just drop it in there. Yes. Okay. Starting to go now. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Take that off of there and mm -hmm. steal that back. Yes, sir. And then we are going to put some Cool Whip in here. Hmm. And you don't want to use the stand mixer to do the Cool Whip. Uh-huh. Um, I'm gonna put this over here so okay. we don't make a mess. You wanna fold it in because if you if you use the mixer to do it, mm -hmm. it will take the air out of it and it'll make it a little too dense. Okay. And doing it this way will make it nice and fluffy. All right. So. I clean as I go. Yes. I like my husband leave everything I like the way there. you work. <laughs> That's the way I prefer to work as well. Mm-hmm. All right. So we can open up the Cool Whip uh -huh. and all of it is going to go in here. Really? Yes. Okay. Spatula or take the spoon. Uh, spoon will be do? fine. Okay. And you're folding it in. Folding it in. Okay. So I'll just start working on that as as you're incorporating. Okay. I'm the sous chef today. Yes. Okay. Does Bobby Flay do baking and stuff too? I haven't seen him do a lot of that. Mm -hmm. Mostly on the grill and yeah. stuff like that. He does do cocktails too. Oh, he does? Okay, yeah, that's well. kind of his dessert. Hmm. I have to call him up this morning, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so the whole thing. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Perfect. So I'm gonna get you. This is good stuff. Oh yeah. Okay. Smells good. Mm -hmm. Looks good. All right. So that's about ready, and I have put our. Reese's, uh, Reese's peanut butter cups mm -hmm. into the freezer for just a little bit so they're easier to work with. Okay. We'll open these bad boys up. And while I'm doing this, why don't you tell us a little bit about your background and uh -huh. how you got involved with Rotary? Well, let's see. I've been in Douglasville in Douglas County since 1995. Okay. And you know when you're driving up streets you see certain things and so on Highway 5, Campbellton Street, and there are a couple of other streets you see that wheel, this little rotary yeah, wheel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I always thought what in the world is that? But I've had to learn or had come to learn that Rotary Club, it was the first, uh, the world's first humanitarian service organization. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Since 1905, mm -hmm. it started in Chicago with a lawyer named Paul Harris. And so um, 1.2 million people are in Rotary, wow. 33,000 clubs all across the world. And so um, Rotary is helping to eradicate polio. There are only two countries where polio still exists. Mm -hmm. So anyway, just being involved, you know, I was elected to city council in 2002 and the Rotary Club really made a difference. I could see how they were doing apples for teachers at the elementary mm -hmm. school, giving middle school awards, and then um, Rotary Club gives awards for uh, high schoolers as well and the mm -hmm. star students. So um, in 2001, I, I mean 2011, I got involved in Rotary Club to kind of okay. just give back into the community. So right. That's, I've been there since 2011 in the county. Wow, that's a long time, it's eight years. Yeah, but they've been in Douglasville, Douglas County since 1983. Okay, so mm -hmm. they've been around a while. Yep, we have our 36th um, annual golf tournaments coming up at Mirror Lake. Okay, when is that? April 17th. April 17th, mm -hmm. so be sure to check that out. <laughs> yeah. Get involved. I that's know, that's a great way to get involved. That's right. That's so right. how do you guys make, uh, you know, 
you're giving back, but how do you get funds and that type of thing to do that? Is it? Is Ooh, it? We like have some steep dues. Oh, no. there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so the Rotary Rotarians, we do dues once a quarter. Okay. And then uh, we do we have a golf tournament that raises money as well as uh, the big deal, which is kind of like a lottery that the chamber and a lot of other organizations do in the community. You uh -huh. buy tickets, and so we raise money that way as well. Okay. And we take donations, but. A lot of it is just philanthropic. People give, and a right. lot of Rotarians just a lot are business people, mm -hmm. like Mr. Uh, John Thornton, Ken mm -hmm. Flick, and so they just they give a lot of right. Um, that's of where their they, own resources. Yeah. yeah, that's their philanthropic arm. Right. So that's right. how we that's how we raise money. That's great. Mm -hmm. So how many members do you guys have? We have about 40 members. 40. 35, 40 members. That's great. Mm -hmm. And how do 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 members get selected, or do you just join, or how does that work? You have to have 100% people vote on you. Like wow. Colonel Baggett, Terry Baggett, those uh -huh. types of <laughs> so, <laughs> Judge so, Peggy so Walker. You, you've got to be, you got to, you know, you got to be willing to get in there and prove yourself. And That's you've got to right. be, you can't just be the person, so, uh, yeah. you know, I, I think I'll decide decide this week to be a Rotarian. <laughs> yeah, yeah so you're voted way, in. Huh? Okay. And they just kind of look at you and see what you've done in the community mm -hmm. because they really, it's service above self. We okay. don't want, well, I shouldn't. It's kind of um, behind the curtain kind of right. type of people, so it's, we don't want people to kind of come in and use Rotary as a platform for right. themselves. It's really a selfless organization mm -hmm. where you just give and try to help people. Right. So we meet once um, every Monday, okay. so once a week at noon at the conference center. Okay. We have a lunch uh, meeting, and we use, typically have a speaker that comes in and talks to us, like someone from the pantry or Judge mm -hmm. Bo McLean. Uh, that does the Christmas um, event, so okay. that's how it works. That's great. Mm -hmm. And we'll talk more about this and how you can get involved in some way or another in just a few minutes. First, okay. we want to chop up these these Reese's uh, peanut butter cups. So okay. if you want to start opening them, I'll okay. get us a couple knives. All right. Oh, my gosh. Knives. Yes. Watch Danger. out, little people. Danger. That's right. Oh, sorry. So we're going to do about half of these inside uh -huh. and then we're going to do about half on top once we get it into the pie crust. Okay, I see. So take these out. And this is my favorite candy right here, so <laughs> it's very difficult not to eat one of these while we're Oh God, so at Halloween up. you have to hide these oh, from you? Oh man, my, my kids don't get to eat them because as soon as they go to bed I go through and grab them all. <laughs> and they're miniature ones at Halloween so you have to eat a lot yeah, of them to get yeah. some. Okay. Alright, so We'll chop up about four of these to go inside. Maybe okay. five. We'll do five inside. Okay. So I'm just going to cut them into maybe six pieces or so. Okay. Kind of like a pie. Yep. Whoops. I put the whole thing in there. There we go. Okay. So we can chop, chop, chop. And so it's going to break it up, huh? Yep. This is going to be so good. I know it. It smells good, too. Perfect breakfast, right? <laughs> <laughs> It'll give you some energy. Yeah, there you go. That's mm -hmm. the way to look at it. That caffeine and the chocolate and benefits of peanut butter. All right, so that's all we'll put chop inside. Chop these or no? Yeah, we can go ahead and chop okay. those, too, because that's going to be our topping. Okay. So I'm folding these in. Mm-hmm. I have to remember this to do with my daughter Olivia. She's the baker of the house. Oh, I have a daughter Olivia as well. Oh, how old is your Olivia? Six. Oh my goodness. My Olivia is 18. Oh. She's a senior in high school at Douglas County High. Awesome. Mm-hmm. So you must be the proud mama. I'm the proud mama. We're looking at colleges. It'll probably be Kennesaw. Okay. She had an interview last week for their honors program in art, so she's an IB. Awesome. And our, our son, Joel, is um, at Georgia Southern, and we have a junior, Anna, and she's a uh, yeah, she's a junior at Douglas County High. So three so three people. kids, mm -hmm. yeah. 16, 18, and Joel will be 20 next month. Wow. So what's it like having them that old and almost ready to move <laughs> out? I'm looking at condos. I'm going to the beach. <laughs> no. <laughs> Yeah, so we tell my husband teases him. He says, when everyone's in college, we're going to move and we're not telling yeah, you guys where yeah. we're going. We're just not gonna... getting a forwarding address. Yeah. Yeah. We'll come see you. <laughs> you don't come see us. That's right. We'll be empty nesters. Yeah. That looks good. Yes. 
All right. You so can't even can... see the peanut butter, so nope. it'll be a surprise yep. when you get in there. So now we can take these and just kind of put them all over the top. Okay. Kind of like sprinkles. Yes. Okay. Doop doop. This is, I am just, yes. I'm astonished. This looks Love really good. It. My kids are gonna like this. Ooh, I can't not wait to eat this. <laughs> I've already licked my fingers and it's really good. Uh-oh, so. uh-oh, okay. All right, so we're gonna get this in the freezer uh -huh. and then we're gonna reset and get ready to do the burritos okay. next. Okay, burritos sounds good. When we get done with good. the burritos, everything will be ready to come together and we'll get to taste it. Okay. And we're gonna talk more about rotary right sounds after this. Now, the people that you have involved with Rotary seem mm -hmm. like they are probably some of the leaders and some of the, the more well-known people in Douglas County. Yes. Who are very busy. <laughs> you're very busy. I mean, you're in Rotary, you're mm -hmm. the mayor, you're yes. pretty busy, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. This is a perfect <laughs> recipe for you guys. Okay. It works great as lunch, snack, dinner, uh -huh. whatever you need, especially if you have kids. Okay. So this is the Rotor refried bean Rotor refried and beans. cheese burritos. <laughs> okay. And then when we're done with that, when we've cooked it, we can also mm -hmm. put salsa and sour oh. cream or queso all over the top. So it's good stuff. Good um, stuff. And I have to give credit where credit is due. Mm -hmm. My best friend in the world, Marcy Fierro, mm. she showed me this recipe. She's cooked me this recipe, so uh -huh. this goes out to her. Oh, uh, and nice. I try to do this every once in a while for the yeah. kids too. They love it. Yeah. <laughs> so the first step is we will take the refried beans. Uh huh. And you can make these from scratch if you want. Mm -hmm. But again, we said this is a, a fast recipe, so yes, we're gonna put this in here. Uh huh. And get it nice and heated up. Let's see what's going on over there. Okay. We only have two real things that we have to cook. Uh -huh. um, we, we've got the refried beans that we're going to heat up here. Mm -hmm. And then when we put our burritos together, mm -hmm. we're going to uh, fill them with the refried beans. We're going to put cheese in them. And then we're going to use the pan here that's uh -huh. heating up. And we're going to kind of seal it and okay. get that cheese melted. Okay, so this is a vegetarian burrito. It can be, yeah. Okay, because I don't... You have to be careful with the refried beans. Sometimes they'll add um, different things to it that make it not necessarily a vegetarian okay. meal. Uh, but yeah, you can definitely make this a vegetarian meal. Okay, so I was thinking like, you know, Del Taco and Taco Bell, there's some ground beef or chicken or mm -hmm. something. Okay. Right. Yeah, and you can add that, you know, if you wanted to add a little bit more protein, you can mm -hmm. add some meat. Mm -hmm. um, you could even put lettuce, tomato, that kind of yeah. stuff if you want. All right, so while I'm getting this heated up, uh -huh. will you uh, grate some of that cheese for us? Yes, sir. And you can use either side of the, the grater, the small holes or the big holes, okay. either one. Well, since I'm a petite, like, you know, the, in the Tiffany box, the small things come. <laughs> exactly. I'll do the small the side. The smaller side, yes. <laughs> and how much do you need? Um, probably about half of that. Okay, there we go. Because a little bit later we might make some for the people running the cameras. I don't know. Ooh, maybe, maybe if they're good. I think they're good. I'll have to check that footage first to see how well they did. <laughs> see if they're making it, huh? Yep. I've washed my hands, so. The beans don't do not take long to heat up. Okay. I'm gonna use my big spatula today. You bringing out the big guns? For the burrito. Okay. I'll let you see. Looking good, yep, that should do it. Okay. That should do it. All this cheese is, reminds me of my daughter, the baby, Anna. She's the cheese monster. Uh-huh. She's cheese on everything. Oh, I love some cheese. I do omelets and now look at her. She's sprinkling more cheese on the omelets. <laughs> Too much cheese, Anna. 
Oh, but it's good for you. Vitamin D. Okay. All right. I'm going to oh. swap these. So they'll be a little bit closer to the, the fire. Okay. All right. I'm going to push this a little bit so I can make our burritos right here. Okay. After I spoon some of this on here, I'll let you add some cheese. Mm. Oh, that was fast. Yeah, it's nice and heated up already. Okay, just sprinkle it. How, how much ever you want on there. Well, I'm being like on out to be, be very generous. <laughs> okay. All right. So turn the edges in. Oh, okay. And push that. That's how they roll. do that, huh? And then what I'm going to do is put the seam side down. Mm hmm. Kind of seal it. Exactly. Ta da! And then we'll let that go for a little bit and mm -hmm. then we'll flip it over. Mm -hmm. That'll get that cheese nice and melted. I see. So, what are some of the other projects you guys do in Rotary? Oh, uh, let's see. We have, we actually have an Interact Club, which is kind of, it's the high school club for uh, young people and they help with service projects. So, we have interact clubs at Douglas County High, at um, Alexander, Chapel Hill, and uh, they do things at Christmas time. They help with um, uh, backpacks and bikes and all kinds of gifts for kids at, um, at Christmas time, but throughout the year they okay. do service projects as well. So we do that. We have a Rotary Leadership Academy, and that's in America's Georgia, and we usually get a high school student, they interview, and uh, we send a student from each high school down to America's Georgia, and there are kids from all over the state, and they're there for about a week. Okay. And it's like um, Rotary Youth Leadership Academy. Okay. So they learn how to be leaders. And my daughter Olivia went, and she had to climb up a tree, and then they had this rope thing. She had to uh -huh. fall back and uh, trust her. Trust, yeah. So it was really good. I was cool. nervous to let her go um, because she's the middle child and she's kind of introverted, mm -hmm. but it really helped her to That's develop good. her leadership, leadership skills. Yeah. So some of, those are some of the things we like do. Like a leadership boot camp type yes, thing. Yes, yes, yes. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, and we give awards in middle school for, um, you know, all the sciences, math, mm -hmm. STEM, all those, English, all kinds of awards for mm -hmm. uh, kids in middle school as well. So just trying to encourage education. Right, right. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yeah, I was a teacher for a little bit, and I remember oh. uh, some of the rotary coming in and bringing the apples Yes. You know, during <laughs> Teacher Appreciation Week. Yes, you're, you're yeah. good. You're remembering good things. Yeah, that's oh, yeah. what we do at the elementary schools. We take apples to all the teachers mm -hmm. and administrators and just to say thank you for yeah. the, to the educators. And we appreciate it, and we remember it. Oh, good. So thank good. you. Thank you so much. <laughs> yes, I'm going to get these turned over. Okay. And, uh, yep, there we go. So okay, it'll look nice good. and nice and brown on uh, one side. We'll get it looking look. the same way on the other side. And you see how it kind of seals it together. Mm -hmm. At, uh, you know, the one thing you fight with when you're eating burritos is trying to keep it all together. Yeah. So, <laughs> and with these, I actually eat them with a knife and a fork. Okay. Because I'll put mine on the plate, put some sour cream, mm. salsa, you know, mm -hmm. all the toppings, and then just eat it with a knife and a fork. It comes apart, definitely okay. comes apart. When we come back, we're gonna finish everything up. We're gonna have it on the table and okay. ready to try. Okay. So we'll be right back. Now this was a very easy meal to make. It was, right? yes. I mean, we, you, you can do the whole thing in probably like an hour. Now you, you would have to let the, the pie sit a little bit longer in the mm -hmm. freezer or refrigerator than yeah. we were able to, um, but it's still gonna be amazing. Okay. I mean, it's gonna be more like pudding, but it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> I can tell you that much. Okay. All right, so the next step is we can add our fixings mm -hmm. to the burrito. So we've got salsa. We've got sour cream, mm -hmm. and then we've got some regular queso. We put shredded uh, cheddar cheese in the middle, but uh -huh. we can also put queso on top. Okay. So whatever you want to do, you okay. can add on. I'm going to put a little bit of the sour cream. I'm checking you out. I so like to do it first so that I can kind of spread it on there mm -hmm. like that. I'm going to mark you. And then the mocking jay. Yes. Mockingjay. And then put a little sauce on there. Uh huh. And then a little bit of this queso. Okay. Heated the queso up in the microwave, so mm -hmm. it's 
nice and runny, melted. Okay. You gonna do that's something? That's a lot. Yes, sir. Yes. Thank you. All right. That's going to be the hardest to try, so I'm going to go ahead and start cutting a piece off for, for us to take a bite and, and try some. Okay. Let's see. I'm sure it'll be good. Cut that one in half. Oh, gosh. There's a lot of good stuff down there. I can see. Yes. Now I know exactly what it's going to taste like, so <laughs> I'll go ahead and eat mine. Just like I remember. Really? Perfect. Well, I don't, I have, don't have a memory one, so let's see. It definitely gets uh, messy. Mmm, it's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just like eating at the restaurant. Mm -hmm. Even better. Even better, because mm -hmm. we did it ourselves. That's right. Mmm, so good. Now, good. of course, we gotta, we gotta skip to dessert. For real? Because you never know what could happen. Okay. I mean, something could happen and we wouldn't be able to eat the dessert, oh so my we gosh. better just go ahead and skip to it. Okay. I want to make sure I get one of these, uh, the cups, the peanut butter cups. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. That is That's what real I'm talking good. about right there. And you so gave me fluffy. A big one. You got me a big piece. You're trying to. <laughs> <laughs> it's good though. I'm being nice to our guests. Mm, thank you. Mmm. Trying to feed you. Yes, sir. So this is a quick and easy. Uh, you can do it for lunch, you can do it for dinner, mm -hmm. snack, whatever you want. Uh, and for people who are in Rotary, you, uh -huh. know, you want that quick and easy mm -hmm. meal sometimes because yes, you get sir. pretty busy. Yeah. And speaking of Rotary, again, tell us how people at home who are watching mm -hmm. can get involved. What can they do? Um, we always take donations to help um, in Rotary Club, mm -hmm. but of course, the uh, golf tournament on the 17th, and that's held every year annual. So okay. people can sponsor a team or a, a, a hole or something, uh -huh. like the 18th hole right. or something. So that way, um, it just anytime you see those students out there with the wheel on, mm -hmm. um, the Eastside Elementary, I believe, Eastside or Burnett has a clinic. And okay. so we've done some things at the oh, clinic yeah, yeah. they can give to in that respect, mm -hmm. um, those scholarships. So, you know, it's just anytime you see Rotary Club, and we would love to have a hand for people in the community. And also, you can join Rotary. And how to, do people find out about the golf tournament and donations and that type of thing? Okay, we have a website, um, and it's www.douglasrotary.com okay. or .org, I think. .org. Yes, and we meet every Monday at noon at the conference center, so okay. we'd love for you to come, or if we have an event, um, in, just come anytime. Awesome. Yeah. So get involved. This is another way that you can get involved locally. Go to the website, check out their meeting. Mm -hmm. Just please get involved. If it's not with Rotary, get involved with something. That's right. Do something great in Douglas County. Thank you. This has been Serving's Kitchen with a Cause. Thank you so much for being Thanks, on the show. TJ. It's and my we pleasure. will see you next month. Okay. <laughs>